Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Ali Reza Zaidi. I am I am a functional consultant for D365 for financial operations, specialized in SCM and enterprise asset management. For current demonstration, uh, I have to register an item that has a serial based tracking, serial tracking dimension to create a new item through a release product, and then on a line level, I am going to register the serial number and then I will show you how you can also register these serial numbers on GRN level or stock receiving level. At the time of recording I am using the Dynamics 10.0.32 version right so how we can create a new tracking dimension this hamburger all modules will be open then uh, we have to go on a product information management module then go and then we have to click on this tracking dimension group you can found it in under setup dimension and dimension and a variant groups and tracking dimension groups so we have only already have a serial serial t and serial v so i'm going to use the serial v and I am going to click active and then physical inventory. I'm not going to click on blank receive allowed and blank issue allowed. So I'm going to demonstrate the scenario that these tracking dimensions are compulsory. Uh, if we click these checkboxes, so on item receiving level or item issue level, they allow us, but I, I don't want this. And then I click on a serial number and then there are two options uh, for example serial number control if i click on yes then it will record each item with a unique serial number and if it is no then all items can be recorded with the same serial number whenever i receive item so we can use a unique serial number i'm going to save it and rest of the things will be the same now i'm going into again products and release products here we have to create a new product and directly release into the usmf legal entity so i'm going to create a new and here i select v underscore 99 4 times 9 okay. and again I am using the same v v underscore 999 and search name is also same for item group for Contoso data I use the first in first out item group is audio storage dimension I want on a site and warehouse level and tracking dimension I am going to select serial underscore V so I have to store inventory unit EA each purchase unit again each sales unit each bomb unit is each and I'm, I'm ignoring for the current demonstration I'm ignoring the item sales tax and sales group Vendor, I no need. Suppose I require purchase price at 10, sales price will be at 20, and inventory price will be 15. Right? I'm going to save it. So my new item is created, and it automatically have a this information. I'm not going to change anything. So for this again, I click on a December bird sign, and then I go procurement sourcing. I can also use accounts payable so much better to use procurement and sourcing or purchase order so now I am on the purchase uh, purchase all purchase order list page and here I'm going to create a new right now I want to create a event I want to select a vendor and select Okay, and click on. So I'm going to 
of select item I already use the underscore so that's I click on apply and my item is the underscore four times nine is there I select the site one warehouse is 11 and then I am going to purchase four items right and your price 10 remains so this is my purchase order so how can I register a serial number so for this I one way is I have to click here on a registration so I am going to split or quantity one and now click on a registration ID and quantity is one and here I select V underscore V underscore zero 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 one and confirm registration and then I select the second line add registration number V underscore triple zero two confirm registration and then I can select creating a V underscore zero zero double zero triple zero three then I conf confirm the V underscore eight three three zero and four confirm registration and I have a four these serial numbers if I click on a save back and I'm going to confirm the purchase order confirm so now I'm going to receive item click on receive and product receipt and here I can see four items and it's, uh, I have to click on a uh, register quantity click and click on ok so I have to enter the gerund product received number so I am selecting the underscore 0001 401 as a receipt and click on ok so product is receipt I am going to check the on hand same product product information release product and then i apply the filter v underscore apply and from inventory i click on a transactions so i have a four items quantity one received and if i select the serial number from a tracking dimension and click on ok and I also got the V underscore 234 so in this way we can receive the item uh, on a purchase order line level when we have a serial numbers it is also possible that we have to receive uh, items so it is also possible that we have to add serial number at the time of item receiving or a GRN level so I am going to demonstrate the same scenario so I am going to create a new purchase order and this time I select the click OK I add the same item V underscore and triple nine and again the site one and warehouse eleven this time I have a three quantity right and save it and I'm going to confirm the purchase order So from here I am going to receive this click on receive item receipt and I add the GRL V underscore triple zero one 
so I have a no register quantity yet so I have select the order quantity you can see the three items are here GRN is already entered I have dated to and from here I have option for a registration so I click on a registration and here I can click uh, I either I have to add manually the serial numbers or I have uh, some functionality for example one two three and I select the underscore hash a hash two three four and then I want to start because so I start from a six and it will go at nine or already eight six included in it so I add going to add hash one more so click on OK so you can see eight uh, six seven eight it automatically selected so here uh, I have order quantity and I click on OK with the new serial numbers so I'm going back to the same item and click on a transactions so now it show me the eight items so I have to check the uh, in serial number so I from this menu I click on a serial number and if I click on OK I found here all those items so so I started from a six so first five item four items I received one two three four and then I start for six so previous batch for three items and this three last three so my friends this is a demonstration with a simple so this is a demonstration where I receive the items uh, based on the serial numbers with respect to GRN or simple uh, simple uh, purchase received so since so friends this is a simple demonstration where you can register item based on the serial number and uh, you can manually enter serial number if the items are less but if items are more then definitely we have to use functionality system order functionality of a uh, generate serial numbers and we can register it and through inventory we can verify so thank you for watching see you in another video